Yo guys, what up, me Patrick LeVar. So in this video, I'm gonna show you basically what I did here, the trash bag uh, simulation. A couple of you guys have been asking how I did that. It was actually a tutorial I saw from uh, CG Matter and another guy, I forgot the name of his channel, I-T-T-I-I or something like that. I'm gonna basically go through that and show you guys how I was able to put this uh, trash can spazzing out or trash bag spazzing out. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the file here. Um, I have this default template for me, which I keep this human guy here up to scale, which just kind of helps me to always work at scale, but we're not gonna use it. So what I ended up doing was bringing in the Icosphere, GZ it up just a tad bit, and it's already gonna be too big. So I'm gonna kind of scale that down and I'm gonna go ahead and delete our guy for now. Thanks a lot, see you later. So I'm gonna also immediately uh, control A, apply scale because I did uh, reduce the size on that and for the inner balls now the first one that I did for the video I, it was heavy as far as uh, subdivisions so uh, it, it took a long time to to render out the actual Olympic file so this was going to be a little bit more lighter just because uh, I, I've kind of optimized it now so I'm going to press control one which is going to put one dish uh, one thing of a subdivision on it I'm going to shade smooth and then what I'm going to do is jump over here to this and I'm actually going to apply that in there, right? So next, what I'm going to do is add on a collision and I'm going to add on the soft body. The collision, I just kept that stock. Now for the soft body, I do have some settings here because I've been doing this a couple of times now and I'm um, trying to figure out each time I do it, I write down my, my numbers so I can resort back to them and figure out where I can optimize even more so it doesn't take so long. Our steps are, I'm going to go to eight steps and then I think I keep this one at one. Next will be the weight. Okay, that's I kept that the same. Velocity was the same. All this is the same. And I ended up turning on pressure. When we go to pressure, we're going to add a three on the pressure. And then pressure scale uh, also stays the same. And then we're going to go down to collision. And I go to five on the collision steps. And I think I went distance i went 0 0.005 and then this next one here is at zero so that's pretty much it for all of those settings here so next what i'm going to do this is going to be the inner balls inside of the bigger ball that's going to kind of like morph the cloth around and um i might even make it a little bit smaller here let me just scale it down the size is up to you control a no matter what if you scale it make sure you apply that scale because it's going to get all weirded out now i've done one without gravity and I've done one with gravity and I didn't really notice the difference. So I'm gonna keep this the same here. And what I'm going to do uh, quickly, let me just see, okay, good, it's falling straight down. And that's because of the gravity right now. So I think again, I was going to uh, turn off the gravity. Okay, and if we press play now, it doesn't move, right? Good. Then what I'm going to do is add in a force. Okay, and first of all, with this first icon, so I'm gonna press M, put it in its own collection. I'm just gonna call it balls, right? Good. And what I'm going to do now is add in a force. I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to go down to force. And the, in the video, he used um, harmatic, right? And I'm kind of, eh, I'm kind of wishy-washy about this. Like I've, I've tried it with other forces, but I'm going to just to keep it simple the, the way I did the video in that the VFX video. So we're going to add this and we add a force of about, about 250 here. Let's go down to the force right there and harmonic right to 50 and then I think also it's going to be at one zero 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 five five and I think that's it pretty much it okay right so we got that and let's go ahead and hit play to see what that's doing and you can see the ball slightly moving a little bit there nothing big right and then we're going to do is also add in a turbulence. So I'm going to go ahead and press shift A again, and I'm going to go to force. I'm going to add a turbulence, a turbulence. There it is. And I'm going to move it off a little bit. JX, just kind of move it off. And on this turbulence, we're going to do strength of 1000, right? And I think I ended up changing this to 100. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna go with my book numbers first, but I ended up, I think I know I reduced them because it was a little bit too spazzy. Uh, we went to size 2.5 and then I went to flow 10. 
and then noise amount also was 10 and let's hit play okay now we see we got some movement here right a little bit of movement there and again these forces where their placement also affects it so let's kind of drag it down and put it underneath here and just see what it does if you press uh space shift control let me press shift and the left arrow you can go back in the timeline to the beginning now see i moved it over here now it pushes it up right so what i'm going to do is duplicate this uh turbulence and i'm going to drag one here just on the opposite so maybe we can and then shift left arrow brings it back to the start and immediately it goes taking way off up here right i don't want that kind of let's just move it around here g see something yeah not really liking that g okay that's a little bit i just don't want it to shoot up too far up or too far down i kind of just want it to stay in the middle a little bit and i guess what you could do is add another force and just add in a negative force to kind of suck them and pull them back but this is looking good so we know it's working right so what i'm going to do here is go ahead and hit stop space bar i'm going to go ahead and grab all of my forces one two three and i'm gonna put those in a, in a, in a collection i'm just gonna put force okay I like to keep everything nice and tidy also save the file because uh you know you know blender <laughs> so we got it saved and now what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna go ahead and click on the balls here on the ball and duplicate it i'm just gonna press shift you know what let's try alt d I don't yo guys what up future me actually just press shift d because you'll see in a moment here i think it's gonna make a difference alt d and alt d and let me add one more time alt d and then i'm just gonna kind of do four like I, the first video i think i did six and it took a long time for me to uh to cash it out right and i'm just gonna randomly put them around but kind of fairly close but not touching right it's important that they do not touch okay good and then i'm gonna best shift left arrow and then hit start it all right so we got some movement there it looks like one of them is not moving there that or actually that was kind of like stuck on that force right i'm gonna go ahead and move this off a little bit too and let's go ahead and just do it again okay so they're kind of like spazzing out a little bit right we got some movement i don't know why they always tend to drift off the center point what i'm gonna do now is click on one of them and then I'm going to go down and cache the animation because we really won't know what it looks like until we cache it, right? You go down to cache and then make sure your cache is set for, I'm going to set one to one, 250. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake all dynamics. All right, bake is done. Now we're going to go ahead and again, let's just play it back. Looks like this one here is getting a little bit weird, but whatever it is what it is. I see that one hangs up there. I'm not really liking that right here. So let's go ahead and clear the bake, delete all bake. And what I'm just going to do, I think, which one was it that was hanging up that bottom one there, right? I'm just going to move it, move it up here or something like that. Okay. And again, uh, delete all bakes, bake all dynamics. Now, the more balls that you have and the higher the sub uh, subdivision is, the slower this becomes. Like, I think, like I said, I had the first balls, I had them at subdivision at four, but these balls are going to be inside the big ones. So these don't need to be that high. Matter of fact, the only reason I put some on there is because when they press up against the cloth, you'll see the polygon shape. And that's the only reason why I even added some sub. Okay. This is looking a little bit better. This one way just shoots off here out in the distance, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and just, I probably should have didn't Alt D because I normally don't do Alt D. So I'm gonna delete all of them, all right? Let's delete all of them. And then I'm gonna press Shift D, Shift D. Again, let's go ahead and make the collision is on. Okay, good. And simulate again. Delete all bake, bake all day. Yeah, last time I, I always did it just shift d but this time i just was seeing if it was going to help the uh caching process but i don't think it's going. okay let's go ahead and play it and there should be okay yeah they're colliding they're colliding i don't know what's going on it seems like there's something in the way here again blender's physics now what we're going to do here typically this is where i would bake this out right so I will go to balls, right click on it and select, select objects. Okay. And then from here, 
we're going to go to file export olympic file all right and then make sure you save it where your your folder is and keep everything in the same folder then make sure we check selected objects and then check normals turn that off now just go ahead and export it that was really quick and that means it probably didn't work <laughs> so i'm gonna turn the balls off here i just clicked here and um i just clicked here and turned off the uh, collection i'm gonna go to file import olympic and i'm gonna olympic uh import what we just made there it is bring it in okay and there it is i'm gonna hit play and it worked that's good now from what i do here is typically i'll just close this file and open up a new file let me quickly just go ahead and save this and then i'm gonna go file new file just to get a clean slate and get all those you know the, the physics and everything cleared out and i'm going to import that again import olympic okay press play and there's our physics which wasn't a good simulation i would basically keep simulating until i got something that i like like this one is way off in the distance here i don't know why that's doing that look at that one it's like totally rogued out but anyways let's go back here now what we're going to do again put these all in the collection m i'm gonna call them balls small balls and then i'm gonna add in another icosphere here this is gonna be the big one this is gonna be like the, the covering right gz it up i'm actually gonna tab into it hit edit and this time scale it up so we don't have to um we don't have to apply it after this right and this was gonna be fairly large we want to make sure everything is inside press z to go to wireframe there so i can see everything is inside okay good and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get back to object mode. This one, I'm thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it four subdivisions. I'm not sure. That might be too much. I think I kept adding more. Um, I didn't write it down. So I'm going to give it four. And let's go ahead and go back. Okay, we are in object mode. Let me go ahead and turn off. This is go back to this mode here. Good shade smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and also apply this in here, right? I'm going to apply that. I'm going to save this because this is when stuff gets start getting crazy. And I'm going to click on this and press the plus button. And that's just going to make an incremented version of it, right? Well, I was at 23, now it's 24. Okay, and then hit save. 